Amen. Uh, we told you so. Uh, we told you so. Uh, starting we see the apostles, the bishop, and the brothers on down over here in GMS, man. So I want to begin this lesson by giving all the praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Lakaha Kadash, and Abuhana to the elder and the apostles of the Timison who do well. A peace, a blessing, and salutation to you, Aki. I'm who are pushing this truth to the four ends of the heaven and be on the forefront of this spiritual war and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise. He on yes again as in the days of old, so it will be a quick lesson uh, to the point. Eh? Uh, we've been telling you about the French man. Eh? Uh, the Lord is using French man eh? as a chess uh, piece uh, to bring an end uh, to the turn horn man. Eh? Uh, see, and which is that signify destruction, judgment, and the many wars man. Eh? which are coming upon the whole entire earth, man. Let's uh, see. To set in order the foundation of this earth, man, because the foundation of this earth have been out of course for a long period of time, of time man. You have individuals who actually think that the most shy is a woman. You have individuals who actually think that the most shy is not there. You have individuals who... Uh, uh, Taking in vain uh, the very uh, basic uh, principle of life, which are the law, statutes, and the commandment, man. Uh, the most shy is getting led to press that reset button, man, on you niggas, man. You simple as weak, full brown demon, magomaniac, uh, 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 niggas out of there, man. The most shy is getting led to put a reset button upon your eyes, man. Uh, you who think that you are tough. You see, let's wait until these things get tough on you tough niggas, man. You see, and we've seen that day, man. And we have been telling you so. And you are afraid right now. You see, back then, <laughs> when you go back then, uh, during, let's say, 2017, you see, going all the way since the elders came on YouTube on the sum of 2007. They are used to be an army of scoffers, man. When you do a lesson like I am going to present to you today, an army of scoffers come on the comment board, man. And it was very upsetting. But I now don't see them, man. I now don't even see. When you do a, a serious lesson, you don't even see somebody commenting, man. You see? Because it is getting bitter for you scoffers out of there, man. You see? This is like the goal of Aspin <laughs> for you scoffers out of there, man. So I have a news here which say why is Macron pushing for a 44 nation European political community now? The EU now has a large and much more pan European competitor that aim at decoupling, mark that word, man, decoupling from not just Russia but the United Snakes too. See, is Europe headed for a major change? The answer is yes. How do we know that? Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So this is a book of Revelation, the 17th chapter, and verse 16, it reads, And the ten horn which thou souls upon the beast, this shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked. How will they hate the whore? They will go against the whore. You see? And right now the whore, is still riding upon the beast. I see. See, it is actually acting like uh, the think tank. I see, Latin America is acting like the think tank of Europe. I see, that's why Emmanuel Macron he came forward and said the European Union is like uh, <laughs> a person without a brain. Because the brain is America, the whole light in the beast, man. You see? So it will come a time when the, 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 the beast will hate the whole. Uh, you see? Not only than that the scripture even go further and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. You see? From there, let's go to the classic book of Obadiah, man. You see? 
plus kibuko for badaya <coughs> the seven you see it lead all the men of the confederacy have brought it even to the border that was literally going to the european union the men that were at peace with the have deceived thee and have prevailed against thee that is that it is a bread you see how do we know that that was literally <laughs> implying the european union when you go back to the laws one very fierce speech from uh, uh, dj trump he came forward and rebuked the european union man there is a lot of fund which he go from america to the european union you see that's why the scripture tell you they that eat thy bread uh, see have laid a wound under thee there is none understanding in it that was going to uh, see a strategic a, a point of view uh, see a chess movement and, and the lord is using friends to uh, spearhead this prophecy man you see and the italy is coming on top man there was a, a news in which was going to the Russian have opened the, uh, the, the, the gas supply to Italy. Uh, she, uh, she and, and the Italian are saying, fuck you, European Union, man. Uh, she, so that, that, that thang like there, <laughs> like how the Negroes in America say, that thang like there is coming crumbling. Uh, see? That, 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 that thang like there is being tilled down right now. So here we are at the very end, the very end of this shit, man. See, so you brother, you needed to hold out and the place the Moshe has strengthened you, man. And the place that the Moshe does not lead you into temptation because you will be kicked out. You see, pray uh, in much supplication and ask the Moshe to spare you, man. In the book of Daniel 2 and 42, it lead, and as the, te- the toll of the feet were part of fire and a part of clay, for the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And where are those is iron mixed with my clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of many, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. You see, on a strategical point of view, man. You see, and this will lead to a lot of confusion, man. You see, and that's where little Russia will get an upper hand, man. You see, that's where little Russia will get an upper hand. You see. And you have there Hungary, also. Hungary, you have you have Serbia, you have Czech, Czech Republic, man. All of these are just chess pieces, man. The most high is moving right now, man. I uh, see. On the, geo, the, 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 the geopolitical chessboard, man. So, so, hey, man, the prophecy is going down. That we are almost out of here, man. So, I want to finish and then by giving all the praise is to Yahabba Hashem Yahashai, man, the supreme rule of the universe, man, uh, who back in the day, he single-handed, he single-handed brought down ancient Egypt through kinetic warfare and technical maneuvers. When you examine the tiny uh, plug, man, you see the tiny plug were strategically uh, designed, man, you see, the most I didn't just wake up in the morning and say, I, I must send the, I, I will send the plug in the ancient Egypt. No. Those were strategically planned, man. That's why the scripture tells you how Bashem Yahashia is a man of war. Ancient Egypt was uh, tactically, strategically, and kinetically brought down. When you lead the ten plug, you always go into that, you have a financial warfare waged on Egypt. First, you have the war of words. You see, and I will go into that lesson, examining through the spiritual lenses, you see, the strategical point of view on the ten plug of ancient Egypt. First and foremost, you see, any war, man, it starts with war of words. War of words, that's why you have something known as the Cold War. This is a war of word, man. It's not kinetic yet, man. And we have passed that stage. We came into a financial affair. You see? Uh, when you go back in ancient Egypt, the Lord waged a war of words through his prophecy. <laughs> you see? Uh, 
King Marshall and Aaron, man. You see, he went the wolf, way the only, 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 he sweetened the ancient Egypt, man. See? Let me see. He threatened the... Mm -hmm. Let us see. If I can get that. I don't even know how threatened is written, man. Uh, this is the second Ezra 16 and 11. He said, The Lord, Yehovah, Shema, Shai, shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. So that is going to a, a, a war of words, man. Or, or, or rumor the four. So the most shy now is threatening through his prophet, first and foremost, and through this king of the earth, this president, this generals in, in, in the military. The Lord is threatening, man. She through power of speech, you have that dude, that tough dude from Russia, man, known as Dmitry Medvedev, man. He came forward and, and, and gave a power, power of speech. You see, this a spirit created for vengeance. You see, spirit created for vengeance. Angel, angels in a fresh body, angels of death, man. <laughs> you see, so the Lord, like now, is waging a war of words economic warfare, you see, on the mystery Babylon, man, you see, on the Babylon, man, he's waging war of words, man, the most high is threatening, you see, the same way he did in ancient Egypt, is a parallel, he sent Marsha and Aaron to wage a war of words against Pharaoh, you see, the second thing he waged the a biological warfare. <laughs> Have you see? You see? When he turned the water into blood, uh, when he sent the light, uh, you see? Uh, that's a biological warfare like there, man. You see? Like how the Lord, he waged a biological warfare on you, his end, man. And you people out of here who, who, who want to be outright wicked. A biological warfare. It came through the C-19. Nothing new under the sun, man. When we say there is nothing new under the sun, if you can't get that because you can't really picture, I see you can't really be a visionary and think there is nothing new under the earth. You see, so the Lord, he waged the wolf, waged, he waged the financial warfare, he waged the biological warfare against the ancient Egypt, and he is doing the same thing against the spiritual Egypt. And when we go to the uh, financial warfare, the Lord, he sent a uh, uh, hail, man. It destroyed all the crop of Egypt. You see, not only that he sent locusts, so it was a strategical uh, uh, maneuver, man. <laughs> you see, <laughs> if we wish, uh, he, he, he were here for. No, no, the Moshe is not political, man. <laughs> I can't say a political warfare, <laughs> no. You see, so from there, he waged a kinetic warfare. He killed all the firstborn of ancient Egypt and he drowned in Pharaoh's young man. You see, uh, uh, the coming days, man, the Hawasha is coming to. You see, uh, today, man, I was charged up in the spirit. You see, and, and, and I was meditating, especially on in Isaiah 42. He said, Behold my servant whom I applaud, my elect in whom my soul delight. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentile. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. You see, when judgment starts going out, you won't see any, any, anybody, anybody teaching you in the street, man, warning you. A bruised reed shall, shall, shall he not break, and a smoking flax shall he, he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth, and that's what we are waiting. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth. The eyes shall wait for his law. And she, that says the God, the Lord power, how about Hashem Yahusha, he that created the heaven and searched them out, he that spread forth the earth, and that which come out of it, he has given a brief unto the people upon it, the spirit and the, and the spirit to them that walk there. You see, let me go. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me see. 
Verse thirteen: The Lord Yahweh Hashem shall shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up zealous like a man of war. He shall cry, for Yahweh shall will make that he war cry, man. You see, he will be hyped up, man. Like how Jacob over here in Tanzania tell you he will have molali. We will see any mas a molani, a masai molani, how they jump up. That's what we call molad. You are hyped up. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that your house should be hammered because you niggas, man. I am just giving you an example so that you can understand what molad is, man. Uh, or let me use it uh, on a way you can understand when you see a brother on a highway and by the way, casting out and being hyped up in the spirit, man. The same way Yahweh will come when he he appear he will make that war cry and the trumpet will be sounding man. You see the earth will tremble at his very presence. You see, he say he he shall cry here and roar he shall prevail against his enemy. I have long time holding my peace in, because that's why I started by saying you two said and you heathen men have made void the law. Because you don't really see the presence of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and in which past in time he was called named Alasha Dia, which is a demon-like power, man. And, 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 we are here, <laughs> as we speak of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, uh, to uh, pray to the Messiah here, awake that ancient like spirit, man, the spirit of judgment. I have been still and reflamed myself. Now will I cry like a traveling woman? That was a metaphorical. Uh, 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 that was metaphorical. See, and if you have seen a traveling woman, you will understand what I'm talking about, man. You see, drenched in emotion, man. Uh, he will be destroying everything, man. You see, I will destroy and devour at once. Who? So that's what you will eat, man. I I intended it to be short, man, but. Uh, that's what it is, man. So I will see this session. Um,